What else? Uh, the toy division has come up with a new doll idea to go along with our children's clothing line. We call them Melon Patch Kids. Now, the competition exploits the notion that their dolls are orphans. The Melon Patch Kids are not orphans. <laughs> They're abandoned. <laughs> we think it's a winner. Okay, go with it. But keep the unit cost under five bucks. I mean, last year we took a bath in those chubby, tubby tub toys. This looks fine. Uh, yeah, put that one right there. Oh, uh, hi. Good morning. Is Mrs. Whitaker ready? Mr. Allen just got here and we'll start taping in just a few minutes. She'll be right there. Good. Lucy, they're ready for you. Oh, oh, fly, fly, Steve, uh, oh, he just drove up in a great big limousine. Oh. He's even cuter than he looks on TV. Oh. You know what? What? I got his autograph. You did? Yeah, I just stuck my hand in the window to shake hands with him, and he signed it. <laughs> Look at that, Steve Allen. <laughs> Aren't you excited having Steve Allen right out there in your very own front yard? Boy, I hope he doesn't mash Dad's chrysanthemums. Ooh, we can mash my mom's anytime. <laughs> hey, Lucy! Johnny. <laughs> I, I, I don't feel so good. She didn't sleep well. She does look pale. Didn't eat a bite of breakfast. Uh, she's going back to bed. <laughs> No, darling, if, my goodness, honey, if you're this nervous now, what'll you be like when the president gets here? Oh. Uh, Mrs. Whitaker. Uh. Mr. Allen will need you in one minute. Ah. Uh. <laughs> You've just got a few seconds. Uh. Come on, Come on. 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 Camera is ready. Alrighty. Where's Mrs. Whitaker? I've been trying to get her out here. Lucille, you know you're acting absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> That's right. Pull yourself together. All righty. That's what I'll do. You're right. I'll just march right out there and do it. Uh, there she is. Oh, hi, Mrs. Whitaker. <laughs> what is that? You come on out, Mrs. Whitaker. Mrs. Whitaker. Come on. That's it. Millions of people are waiting. <laughs> Look, if you don't come out, I may have to cancel the interview. That's it. Come on. There we are. Uh, Mrs. Whitaker, this is Steve Allen. How do you do, Lucy? How do you do, Mr. Allen? I'm a little nervous. Could I sit down? Sure, it's all right. I... Oh, that's Mr. Ah! That's Mr. Allen's chair. Oh, I'm sorry. Where's mine? Now, this is for the guest right here. Who's the guest? You are. Just oh. sit down. That's fine. Now, there's no need to be nervous, Lucy, because no. I'm just going to say a few words, you know, to sort of explain who you are, uh. and then I'll introduce you, and we'll chat, and we'll have some fun. Fun, yes. Yeah. What's that? It's your microphone, ma'am. Oh. Hello, hello, hello? One, two, three, four. Well, let's go, John. The People Watchers, Lucy Whitaker, take one. Ah! What's the matter with you? It's okay, man. Hi, this is Steve Allen with another edition of The People Watchers. And if you saw the show last week, that makes you a People Watcher watcher. And if your husband was looking at you, that makes him a People Watcher watcher watcher. <laughs> so watch it. Ah, that's funny. Thank you. <laughs> Well, anyway, we're here in Bundy, Indiana. 
with Lucy Whitaker, who was one of the lucky ones who actually talked to President Carter on his recent phone-in. Not only that, but the president promised to stop by and chat with her. Lucy, huh? tell us, how did it feel when the president of the United States told you he was coming right here to your house? Oh, I couldn't believe it. I still can't. I couldn't believe it. I still can't. Well, how... <laughs> How's everybody reacting? Where? I mean, all around the town. You know. Oh, the town is bananas. Oh, really? I thought the town was Bundy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes. <laughs> Well, I suppose everybody wants to meet the president. Yeah, everybody. Everybody's been calling and calling and calling all day long. Yes, I see you're trying to keep a stiff upper lip. What? You're trying to keep a stiff upper lip, I said. Oh, oh, my mouth always gets so dry, it's like a lot of cotton in it. Sure, it's perfectly all right. Now, tell the folks exactly what are you going to discuss with the president. Well, you see... We have this camp for underprivileged children here in town, and the government is planning to put up a low-cost housing project. And, uh, and they're, they're, they're just going to have to tear down our camp sunny slope. Yeah, Lucy, excuse me. You're, you stop with the change. You're making too much noise. They're hitting the microphone and... Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Maybe you take them. Oh, I, oh, I had no idea. Good. Sure, I can take them right... Yeah. Oh! oh. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Oh. oh, here. Just put them down. Oh, keep terrible. rolling, John. We'll let yeah, it later. Yeah, keep rolling. Yeah. Keep, keep. Now, you were telling us about this camp? Oh, Lucy! What? Oh! I didn't know you had company. <laughs> uh, Floyd, what are you doing here? Uh, Steve, this is my husband, Floyd Whittaker. How do you do? How do you do? Oh! Silly me, I was just on my way down to Floyd's Bowling Alley. 438 South Walnut Street, six lanes, no league play on weekends. Floyd, give me that. For heaven's sake. Well, I just came out to tell you the president's office called. They can't be by here at three, they're coming by at six. Oh. And since we always eat at six, I invited them all to dinner. You did what? <laughs> Now, Buster Burger managers are supposed to be mean and lean. Presta Poopnik. Uh, that's Presta Popnik, sir. This is no Porker's Paradise. <laughs> We're here to learn to run a Buster Burger franchise. Not devour one. <laughs> <laughs> sir, just because I love food doesn't mean I can't work around it without eating all the time. For instance, what if I get the urge to eat a box of... Buster Chip Cookies. Give me that. Well, out comes my fat boy pocket shocker. And... Oh. <laughs> 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 the bench bites the dust. You tub of crap. <laughs> oh, oh! You're not hungry! You're not hungry! You're hungry! You're not hungry! I'm hungry! You're not hungry! I'm hungry! I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You're not hungry!
Mira. I'm not hungry. Sister, I believe that's bingo. Bingo? <laughs> wow. Scrotum. A real delicacy for the rich and famous. French fries, onion rings, and milkshakes, busters waiting, don't be late. The Stash of cash and save your ass! Morning, right, Tina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell are these? Polished granite bookends. Sharper Image is having a sale. Must be about 500 of them. You gonna give me a hand? Uh, I can't lift anything. I got a bad attitude. <laughs> so, uh, where's Meg? I don't know. She had a date last night, which usually means she's home alone by 9 o'clock, but I called and there was no answer, so, uh... I don't know. Maybe she got lucky. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm awfully old for this. You're acting like a teenager. That's not nice, Charlie. I want to do it. standing here. So, what do you got planned for this evening then, Meg? Well, Bobby's out of town, but I got sort of a nice evening planned. Yeah. Hey, you know, we never spent Christmas Eve together. You want to do it with me? Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, tell me what you got planned. Well, I'm going to make some cookies, and I rented a videotape of a Yule log. Oh. Hey, don't knock it. Don't knock it. I also got some chestnut-scented air freshener, huh? Yeah? Okay, maybe I'll stop by later. No, no. I want to plan my evening. You have to tell me right now if you're coming or not. Huh? I'm counting. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 I'll be there. Yeah? Great. She counts. Party time! Let's go! Everybody, hang out! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I got the grab bag here. Did anybody put their gifts in? Yeah! And they're all five dollars or under? Yeah! Way under. Yeah? And we're all in the Christmas spirit? Yeah! Stamps. <laughs> hey, I got a pen on a chain. All right. Dog away. <laughs> hey, Tina, I'm standing under the mistletoe. Hey, Jonathan, you're standing under everything. <laughs> oh, why can't I have a regular Christmas where I meet a guy, we make love, and we laugh. 
because we got tinsel stuck to our glistening bodies. If only we could keep that spirit in our hearts all year. Hey, Jonathan, how come you're not in your Santa Claus costume yet? Uh, I couldn't fit into it this year. A anyway, don't worry, I got a replacement. Oh, come on, nobody can ho, 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 ho like you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, there it is. Yeah. Hey, you want to come over to my folks' house later for eggnog? And cookies and donuts and cake and pie and turkey and dressing and oh, potato gee, pie. Uh, thanks, Jonathan. But uh, Tina's coming over to my place. We're gonna have Christmas Eve together, right? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So who's gonna be Santa this year? Oh, Randy, a new guy. Oh, who's that? <laughs> hey, Jonathan, where's the beard? Oh, oh, check out the bud on Father Christmas. <laughs> There's somewhere in my gym bag here, Randy. I think I'll skip the beard. Hey, why don't you skip the pants, too? Look at the time I stayed later. No big disappointment. You mean, no, a little disappointment. Speaking of disappointments, we got busted again today trying to get a little in the cloakroom. Boy, do we need privacy. Who's the creep? This is Frazier. Oh, you mean like the lion, huh? When it wasn't like Mickey Mouse, I felt it. Hey, Fence, you gonna let that guy fight the coop like that? Sure. But why? Because that's how I stay so good looking. Oh. Yeah. Yeah! I take it you're paying for this. So what are you gonna have? A glass of water and a toothpick? Okay. And I'll also have a plate of raviolis with uh, 12 meatballs and uh, an orange soda with garlic salt in it and, uh, let's see. How about a green salad with our homemade meat sauce on it? Oh, yeah, that sounds great. I'll take it. about time we got to the beach here, man. Yeah, really. Hey, you got any more food in there? Is that all you... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, I'm hungry. That's all you definitely does is eat. Well, pickle, pickle. All right, all right. Pickle! Come on, come on, dummy. <laughs> man, this place is packed. Hey, cool it, will you mind? I'd like to get high first. Hey, I smell something rotten in Denmark. Denmark? Well, what's Denmark got to do with this, Fins? Ain't you got no class? Did you ever hear of Willy Boy? Willy Boy? Well, who the hell is Willy Boy? He means William Shakespeare. What the hell is he talking about? Hey, Fins, your legs won't stop shaking. I want you to will my body to UCLA Medical. <laughs> 